Okay, so we're about to go into base here. It's an abandoned helium mine. Well, it's not an abandoned. It's been occupied by these guys. Spacers. Where did we actually do? What's the reason we're here? Kill the spacer vulture on this guy. So. He couldn't have been in a ship. It would have been so much easier. Yeah, because we're going to be inside. So. Tried to flank us. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. Look out. Oh yeah, it might be a little uncomfortable. All the stuff I can All the shock trooper power pack that might have been what I have. No, wait a minute, no, that's the logger is a shot. Where's this the logger? Justifier. Justifier. You know, these, those blow up. That's really gonna suck. Explosions. A die. What if yep. we leave a few things here and take a second trip? Hey, stranger. Let's chat sometime, okay? 
fiber. We don't need fiber. Fastens are fine. We need fiber. Lay it on me. Let's check out this stuff up here. Skipped over it. Should make most of this. Well, maybe not most, but a lot. We need ashes to waste the time. Not drop it in the water, that's just a, it's a trick. We didn't get a chance to get it. nice to put the lock pick right on top of it. to worry about encumbrance on this planet gravities. Probably live action shift.
that one. Oh, it's in here. Oh, that's right, we had to put a lot. Almond. Almond. You have a champion. And some of these He wants to talk to you. Alien, or sorry, crispy alien nuggets. Sent out. Squishy noise. See what we got? I don't think so. Twenty-seven thousand. If you take a look at that. Camera, but it's cosmetic, so why don't you wear a cosmetic? Oh, I guess if you're walking on It's actually a good suit. Boost an injector. Boost injector is for treating infliction. Stop. 
Oh, credits. And the gun. Orchid merchant. And with a book. Better things out in even space. Thing. Unless you're running a, you know, a ship built to smuggle. Active cage. Uh, game devs. We need to have a. We need to have a talk. Cheers. Not just blame Bethesda. That they're not. They're not alone in this. Putting stuff behind locks and it's basically worthless. Need to have a talk about this. At XP, that's nah, not. It still wasn't enough. It wasn't worth it. How much XP was it? I didn't even notice. How little it was. Oh, but I gotta unlock this door to get out. Now it's the master lock. 5, 10, 15, 20. Experience. Oh, so that was definitely not worth it. Dusty. Dusty. Let's talk. Dusty? Who's Dusty? I don't think he's got in any position to call me Dusty anymore. Seeing that I'm the captain of the ship he's flying around in, and I could just leave him anywhere. Respect me a little bit. You'd be called Dusty. The dust miner and him. Yeah, well, obviously he has been paying attention. But paying his salary at this point. free rides around the universe.
Unless I'm a ranger, damn it. If you're ever thinking to yourself, ah, oh, I could really listen to Barrett's dull set voice right now. Then instead of dreaming about me, stop by and say hello, okay? That's mm -hmm. not creepy. Do you need something? <laughs> That's not creepy. I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. What daring rescue? I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. Eyes. You're welcome. Glad to help out a fellow constellation. It wasn't a big deal. Don't worry about it. What could you have done without me? Why don't you thank me with some credits? Refresh my memory, Matsura. No, it wasn't a big deal. Don't worry about it. Well, it left a lasting impression on me, I suppose. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. I'm glad to be part of a team. Put my trust in people, not organizations. Exactly how often do you get into jams? Put my trust in people, not organizations. That's smart. Trust in things that are capable of trusting you. Trust everyone until they put me wrong. Mutual trust, that's the key. We're on the same wavelength here. Humans are so fragile in space. If you can't trust your crew and they can't trust you, well, nobody's coming home. That's why I'm still with Constellation all these years later. I trust them as individuals, and I trust them as a team. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Hey, I'm gonna flirt with them though. How long have you been? Uh, thank you. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him. I suppose. Possible to know what could have happened. Everybody's lost somebody as part of life. I hope it's not stirring up any bad memories for you, Barrett. Who's Irvin? I don't care who Irvin is. It's possible to know what could have happened. That's right. We can't know the consequences of the choices we never made. And anything beyond that is imagination alone. But for the choices we made, it feels just a bit closer, doesn't it? Irvin's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Sorry, don't know what to say. If you want to talk about it, I'm here for you. Why do you think it's suddenly back in your thoughts? Well, I'm enjoying my time adventuring with you, and it reminds me of Irvin in a way. We had so many adventures together, and then it suddenly stopped. Maybe part of my mind is trying to remind me of that. Hey, Gray, welcome back. Yes, this is a very funny-looking cyberpunk. I don't know what to say. Yeah, don't worry. Logically, I know I should be over it. But I'm not, and it's gotten worse lately. I've ignored my feelings about Irvin's death since it happened. It's time for me to confront it. I'm just fortunate that Constellation has been a supporting home for me since Irvin died. I mean, where else would I get to dodge space pirates and discover new planets? On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Talk to me. Hmm. Let's rearrange some things here. We have it. I guess we took everything. Or we didn't give me. Well, that's all I have too. Oh, the mag shirt.
this mag shear or was it? The modified mag shear. This is new for us. Ten physical damage. Ammo is fifty. Fifty caliber. Oh shit, that's gonna hit hard. Uh, Seventy-five. <laughs> Seventy-five mag. Nice. Rate of fire is three hundred. I think this might be a machine gun. That might be a machine gun. Oh, that suit so much better than mine. A little heavier. It's a lot heavier. It's 20 pounds. Grants up to plus 100 energy resistance, physical resistance, lower your health. Crap, that's heavy though. This is Oh, why is this one? Well, this one's lighter. So, lighter, less expensive value. Basically, the same suit. This one, though, 20 mass. This is crazy heavy, but look at the resistances on that stuff. I think we have to give that a shot. Actually, throw that one in storage. One of these two are shot. Actually, both of them storage. This one's lighter. Anti ballistic, resource hauler, resources weight 25% less. So this one. We've modified that one. Confirm combat missions, right? And the higher, lighter stuff for resource gathering, surveying. Yeah, that's an idea. So we're going to keep that one. That one in storage for now. Oak Tech Cap. We can pick that up from. Two has suits. too heavy. Oh, because of the, that new spacesuit, it's super heavy. 20. Snazzy looking spacesuit. Yeah, it is. We just got it. It's heavy though. It's 20 mass. It's crazy. It's huge. I wonder if there's a way to make it lighter.
Oh, we're not going to do this. This is going to be storage. Check this thing out, because we only have 1,100 rounds to go through. Store. I don't think we need to carry this one around for me. I have a feeling this is going to destroy things. The carry capacity. I can carry two, 240 without any bonuses. Hey, Meerkat, welcome back. E Sunday for you. You're going to wear yourself out if you carry all this stuff. What stuff? He's getting ahead of himself there. Okay, so... For our workshop. Where are we going? What are we doing? This is our workshop. So, our weapon workshop. Gotta play with these new toys. That thing. Exits to the so it's a long barrel. Magnetic rails. Increases the rate of fire and damage to the cost of aim down sights. That's okay. Increases accuracy, recoil control, and range at the cost of damage. Laser. Thought to shoot their see through. Yeah, it marks that enemy. Need that? Get the parts. So, increases stability and hip fire accuracy at the cost of long range accuracy. Muzzle break. It's long range accuracy. Shock charge, charge band. Electrified device that attaches an electric burst of energy to rounds passed through it. Too bad we can't do that. Compensator, though. This is long range accuracy. It's accuracy. It's long range. I can do a tactical magazine. So, a hair trigger, so. I don't think that's going to be anything on this one. And I think it's. Hmm, rate of fire. Got nothing else to put on it. And the skin. So. Things worth almost just under 50,000 credits. I'm sure it'll be fine. That's fine. Really do anything else with this thing. Looks like we have depleted uranium rounds. Extra damage. You didn't pay, oh, sorry, penetrate armor. Armor piercing round. More powerful casing can penetrate even the sturdiest armors. So what's the difference? Just try to set people on fire. I'd rather have the armor piercing. Here's what's the difference. So it must be better if it's worth it. Sounds more useful. More useful to AP? Well, it's more expensive than armor piercing. Ooh. 
didn't really say. So, armor piercing can penetrate even the sturdiest armor. So this is, these rounds can penetrate any armor. Better range on the uranium. The only stat that changes is the range and the value. That's just better range. Yeah. Well, it's I've been using it. It's been like this for all stream. So, I mean, it's, it goes through people's helmets. I mean, it's not a big deal. The only thing that keeps them alive is how many hit points they have. But I can one-shot people if I shoot them in the head. No problem. Yeah, they have the three health bar PS stuff. Oh, we already modified this thing. Oh, no, wait a minute. This is the bigger grenade launcher. Record control, accuracy, range at the cost of eight. That's fine. You're not joking around with that thing, are you? A lot of this just do it just for the experience. Yeah, I can't do this. Oh, don't have the titanium. Oops. Standard explosive round. Hornet's nest. Oh, we can't do it. Don't have the skill. I want to see what the hornet is. <laughs> Colonel, air trigger. Sure, why not? Thing is worth six. That's right. We already saw this. It's worth almost seventy thousand credits for that thing. Oh, that's right. We have new space to play around. Ballistic shielding, EM shielding, or energy. We will do ballistic. Oh, this new helmet. Stick shield any yammer in it. Is he hit my head? Sensor array. Increases the range of any of enemy detection on the compass. Sure. Got all the board parts for that. Two polymers. I had polymers, and I forgot to. Generation with two emergency kits short of getting regeneration on the pack. Oh, good. Oh, we don't have the skill for that one. As much as I want it, I don't have the skill. Okay, what's next? Um, oh, I need to uh, some upgrades on our frontier ship. Now that we have the the, the B stuff, we can upgrade the reactor and everything.
Life will almost certainly arise on planets when the right conditions are met. There's a beauty in such persistence. Yes, sir. Gun, we want a chest off still. Thanks, your favorite. Died. <laughs> Got all the lasers coming out of it. We're targeting. <laughs> it died. <laughs> yes, that was a successful weapon test. Dinosaur died in what two volleys? It did bounce around a little bit. I think we'll have fun with that little toy, though. Coming in. Still don't. Oh, we haven't registered this one. It's worth nine thousand. I don't have any need for it, so register for eighty five hundred or eighty three hundred, and we'll sell it for nine, just under ten, maybe. That's almost not worth it at all. If you strip it down, do you get more money for it? Well, cannot sell your home ship. But it's not my home ship. Flipping them. Yeah, I know it said it's home because I hit the button when I was playing around with it. So, I was like, why am I looking at these ships? I didn't realize I captured those. <laughs> Just looking on where, when did I capture that one? I got ship skill four. I was keeping the ones that had parts I couldn't build. Oh, there you go. Accidental captures. They're always accidental. So, you were going to upgrade a little bit. How much money do I have? I have 134,000 credits. When did that happen? There, okay, so. Actor on this thing. So. There for now. So I should pretend it's nine rank four for that one. One for here, so this gets me power jump. 
I think it's better than what that one is. Boy, it's a four whole power. You upgrade your engines to the, the, and the rest of your shops down to three. grand already. Yeah, this is going to be cheap. So I should get some beer engines first. Get some grab drive is okay. He's at rank four. Starship design. Nice. Little engine thrust, 14,000. Max power is three. About about. Six. for now. 40 grand. Hey, look, mobility's up to 47. Top speed of 140. The 120. It still fit these guys down here. Engine power is maxed out too. Not gonna need the you guys. So we still have uh boost mass or add engine. Or the jump range is down to eight. That's only down one. So, you know, top speed is still at 140. Which is good, because top speed four is only 150. We don't really care about the speed on this. This is a freighter. Engines are maxed out. Nope. Oh, it's still... Are we under... Oh, we're under power, actually. 
you still have room for three more power. Use the mass. Mass is too high because the engines are too big. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's the engines. It's the engines out of the mass. You put, they tell you put on bigger engines or more powerful engines than you do and it's too much mass. Hey Gimpy, yeah? it is time to stop. Your dinner will be ready shortly and Mrs. Gimpy wants to actually talk to you. Make sure you tell everyone to have a great day or evening and we will see them tomorrow. Also, make sure to remind them to hit the follow button and visit your YouTube channel. Twenty-seven, John. He is twenty-seven. Just warnings now. Clip power is uh, still sinking. Yeah, the cost is definitely going up. We know that. I knew that going in that it was going to be a cost issue. So sucks. Top speed is 140. Ass is fine. This works. Your four class four engines set you back 114,000. Yeah. Well, this is just upgrading the reactor, the the drive, and the engine. Uh, almost 80. size uh these are heavy they're better across the better These are the not a whole lot of engine choices for for Bravo. Just the reactor, the drive, and the engines so far. Yeah, my landing gear selections aren't the best. Landing gear doesn't really matter. 
As long as they get you off the ground, that's all that matters for them. At least from my opinion. <laughs> I don't care what they look like. And we'll come back, Eric. That's the problem. These engines are too heavy. <laughs> They're too heavy. Found some gear with better thrust somewhere. Yeah, there's, there's some like that. The actually my front gear there has a better thrust than the others. I don't know, can I? I don't know if I can duplicate them here because I've only, I don't remember where I found them. They're not on my normal list now though. That's gonna work. Look, we'll take the things off. Still too heavy. I thought I could ditch this one. Mobility 29. Thing's almost a friggin' rabbit at this point. Better thrust some ones like you have up front. The Ranger HQ plan has some interesting. Yeah, I don't know if I can... Yeah, see, I can't duplicate these. I can edit them, but I can't duplicate them. Okay. Yeah, I can't duplicate them. But I can duplicate these, but I don't really Yep, it's space worthy now. It can do stuff. Which Deimos? The S? Oh, it is Deimos. So, Mars, right? I mean, they're, they're crazy. I mean, the the thrust is three. These guys are one be two. Well, two. One of the moons of Mars? Yeah, I, I don't remember where I picked them up from. But I'm guessing somewhere around Mars. They're Deimos. Not a big deal. Okay, then. Oh, if I really wanted to, I could make this fun. Not so ugly. Put this thing down a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's actually not looking so horrible anymore, is it? I'm trying to see where I can squeeze the, the grab drive into it, something a little bit more protected, but it doesn't really matter, does it? You put it underneath. These engines aren't dependent on it, they're attached to the, the landing. That's nicer. It only cost me 100 grand for the upgrade. Again, the upgrade, all it is, is engines, 
reactor and the grav drive. But we haven't painted stuff yet. Still doesn't remember the colors I used to put back. Despite the fact I haven't looked at I don't know why it's not remembering the, the paint colors. Earlier, uh, before I started the stream, I tried to put in some more cargo compartments up here on top. Just two of them. One on each side. And it went, nope. <laughs> That's way too heavy. <laughs> and they're empty. It shouldn't matter. But anyway. Yeah. Anyway, it's that thing. No, probably should have lowered those. Nah, that's fine. Looks a little goofy there, but it's fine. Or I could put bigger ones down below and put the flat ones up top. Then I have to move the fuel. I kind of like having the fuel off the sides. Okay. They fit there. Okay, well, it's changing my design. Oh, it doesn't fit there because of the way that gun is. Because of the little st sticky stuff out. The way that little thing protrudes. Eh, yeah, that, that'll be fine there. So nice. Doesn't fit because it hits that in. Goes up a little too much. Yeah, at the top it's hitting there. Hmm. Could put one of these things. It's not let me. Oh, because they don't have a side mount. It's a it's one of those mounts. They can't they can't do a side? Of course, I could put them just right there. Oh. Somewhat, yeah, it's even. It looks a little silly. Nah, I don't like that one. We're done. Not on the ground, so. Yeah, this will work. Actually, no, this actually works, because this actually fixed the, them poking up over the edge. That's what was bothering me, is the upper portion was up over the edge here. That's oh, you know what? I didn't upgrade the shields either. This works. For the engines, this definitely. I have 34,000 credits left. Can I get shields?
90 for the shield. Oh, it even looks different. Okay, so shield uh, upgrade, mobility cut down a little bit, mass has gone up for stuff, and yeah, this is fine. Now it remembers. Come on, you pansy, get back in there and fight. I didn't select it. Rocket's upset because Mrs. Kimpy's been gone too long. Okay, that'll work. It's fugly, but it works. Thing is, you know, I should be able to put on more cargo stuff too. You like it? It's different looking, that's for sure. Definitely different looking. But the most important thing is we didn't change really the length of it or the width, so that's good. We just basically moved the fuel from the sides on the midsection and the mid-level, moved them up to uh, closer to the docking ring. That's a there. Did guns? Upgraded the shields. Upgraded the engines. Upgraded the power, the the reactor, and upgraded the uh, grab drive. Should that be right? Bottom section. It's very compact. <laughs> it's very compact. Not Mr. Gimpy's home. Everything's missing. Ah, oh, everything went back in the storage. All the stuff we had to on display. Oh shit! Got to remember that. I didn't know that. I didn't realize that was going to happen. But it makes sense because everything gets moved around, right? Damn it! Drops. Oh. Ah, and he's back finally. You assign you someone. Want. I will go wherever you direct me. Chip. So, all set. Okay, so all set. There's the bridge. Stuff. stuff. Oh, and upstairs is the habitation and uh, docking ring. That you're building it reset. Yeah, 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 it's. I understand why they do it, but. Anyway, the docking ring's up there. <laughs> so, worry about that later. Okay, well, 
Seeing that I'm about, you know, 20 minutes over, you should call the stream, and Mrs. Gimpy is home too, so. That'll be it for today. Thank you all very much for coming out. Much appreciated. Got a lot to done. I got a lot done. I got a lot done today. Off stream and on stream. Leveled up. Skills. DJ Mellowed. Welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. So I got one skill point to spend. But we want to save it to get to. Have to get the. Uh, Six, uh, 26 more ship kills, and then we can go up to... Then we'll be done for that portion. And then we have to start working on... Uh, well, if we want to continue working on the ship stuff. Starship design and green. Anyway, like I said, that's going to have to be it. Thank you all for watching. Stream schedule for the next few days. Tomorrow, Sunday, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous all day. First half of the stream is campaign stuff with Gimpy the Dwarven Crusader Angel. And the second half of the stream is the Treasure of the Midnight Isles DLC with Viewer Group 10. Monday is um, Master of Magic. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, either Starfield or Baldur's Gate 3. Still need to do some Baldur's Gate 3 so we can finish that someday. Friday is uh, Multiplayer Celasta with Jeff Hope and Hurricane. And then next Saturday, back here to Starfield. So that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. Tomorrow's stream starts at noon. No, sorry. Tomorrow Sunday, so it starts early, earlier than normal. So 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. GMT for Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. That's it. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great evening, great day, wherever you happen to be. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you tomorrow.